Hello, everybody. Bill here from the Sports Insanity Network, and welcome to another edition of Murphy's View. Well, this is a post-game of my game of the week, which was the Las Vegas Raiders of Oakland and the Arizona Cardinals. And wow, folks, we got a wild one for you today. The Arizona Cardinals ended up beating the Las Vegas Raiders of Oakland 29-23 to in overtime. What? This was one of the three crazy comeback games that we saw this week. The other two being the Jets coming back to beat the Browns and the Dolphins coming back to beat the Ravens. Just wow, 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 wow. So, coming into the second half of this game, the Raiders were up 20 to nothing. Yeah, Raiders were up 23 to nothing when you had, you had touchdown passes from Derek Carr thrown to Devontae Adams and Darren Waller. Two Las Vegas dangerous receivers. And in the first half, Carr threw for 210 yards. Meanwhile, on the other side, Kyler Murray threw just 53 yards. In the first half. So. So yeah. Going into this half. Did not look. Going into the second half. Did not look good for Kyler Murray. But then. But then in the third quarter. Kyler Murray got Greg Dortch. For a touchdown. And. And also a touchdown with Daryl Williams. And then. With 8 minutes and 13 seconds left, he made a run for a two-point conversion. The first of the two. The second one was in the last 4 minutes and 43 seconds of regulation. He threw a 73-yard touchdown drive. And which ended in a touchdown, which ended with a touchdown, and then another two-point conversion to AJ, to A.J. Green, which put the game into overtime. And in the second half, Murray wrapped up 188 yards, added to that 53 from the second half. From the first half. Carr in the second half only got 42 yards. And then the the play that really hit this play that really put the icing on the cake was Byron Murphy Jr. scooping up a fumble in overtime to win the game. 29 to 23. This is actually the first time the Raiders have lost a home opener since their move to Nevada. So let's look at the stat line for the game. Kyler Murray threw for 31 out of 49 completions. 31 completions out of 49 attempts, 277 yards, 5.7 average, one touchdown, one INT, one sack with a QBR of 66.8. Derek Carr threw for 25 out of 39, 252 yards, 6.5 average, two touchdowns, no INTs, one sack, 53.5 QBR, 99.5 RTG. For rushing, the two big ones were... Darrell Williams, 8 carries, 59 yards, 7.4 yards, 1 touchdown, and Kyler Murray again, 
five carries, 28 yards, 5.6, one touchdown, and yeah. And also in receiving, Greg Dortch, four receptions, 55 yards, one touchdown. And now shooting over to the Raiders, Derek Carr, 25 completions out of 39 attempts, 252 yards, 6.5 average, two touchdowns, zero INT, one sack, 55.53.5 QBR, 99.5 RTG. Josh Jacobs, 19 carries, 69 yards, 3.6 average. And for receiving, Darren Waller, six receptions, 50 yards, 8.3 average, and one touchdown. And Devontae Adams, two receptions, 12 yards, 6.0 average, and one TD. So, yeah, that is the stat line for this game. And now, what do I think? Like I said, holy crap, what a comeback. I think this is now good for the Arizona Cardinals. In the NFC West, all teams are basically tied for first. All teams have a one and one record. Every team has a one and one record right now. So I think this was a big win for the Arizona Cardinals. It now puts them in puts them in the mix in the division. I think this is a good thing for them. They're now in the mix in the division. Now, when it comes to the Las Vegas Raiders, on the other hand, they are digging themselves into a hole. They really are. Because if you heard what I said on the post game a few days ago, I said that the Raiders needed this game more than the Cardinals do. And right now, the Cardinals and Right now, the Cardinals, the Raiders, are 0-2. And you got Kansas City, with two, who's 2-0. Two and The Chargers with 1-1. One one, the Broncos with 1-1. One one. So, the Raiders are, deep in them, are digging themselves deep into a hole. Like, they seriously need to win next week to be in the mix in the AFC West. Because... If, as you all heard me say, the AFC West is probably the is probably going to be the most competitive division in the league this year. The AFC West is going to be the most competitive division. So yeah, hell of a game this past Sunday. Great win in overtime for the Arizona Cardinals. And next week, you have the Cardinals will be playing the Los Angeles Rams, and the Titan and the Raiders will be playing the Tennessee Titans. If you like what you see, and why wouldn't you, go to www.thesportsandsanitynetwork.com. Check out our blogs. Check out our podcast. Check out our bios. And everything else. Thanks for watching. I'm Bill Murphy of the Sports Insanity Network. Thank you for watching Murphy's View. Stay safe and take care.